can't have a Bonsai and be a superhero. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here, doing another McFarlane Toys action figure review on AMC's The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon with custom bike. If you're trying to pick this up, you can find it at Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks so much to McFarlane Toys for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, check the link in the description below. So this is the second bike that we're getting for Daryl from the TV series. And, well, there's no comic version of Daryl, but then we have uh, Norman Reedus right over there, and it wraps around to the side where it says Daryl Dixon, and then custom bike, and then on the very back you'd see some 7-inch figures, and then there's Daryl again. And then on the side we get this image from the show, and then you get Daryl at the top, and not much more at the bottom. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Daryl Dixon with this custom bike out of the packaging, looking absolutely stunning with these amazing paint apps. I absolutely love how detailed this is. It's very realistic looking, looks very cool. A lot of sculpted parts in here and everything too. I really like the Daryl figure, it looks very good, especially the head sculpt, it very much looks like Norman Reedus. And I love that we get the crossbow and he comes with his knife as well. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the custom bike and then we'll take a closer look at Daryl Dixon. Yeah, again, look at this thing. This is just absolutely stunning. Now, if you're really into motorcycles, I'm sure you're appreciating all the different parts over here. I did see this YouTube video where this guy went hella nerdy with it and pointed out where, you know, this tire came from a Yamaha, what's it called, and you know, th this part of the shocks came from a, I don't know, like a Kawasaki, what's it called? I, I don't know anything about motorcycles really, uh, but I do appreciate all the detail in here and how realistic it looks to me anyway. I don't know, somebody who knows a lot more could be like, that's not realistic, that tube don't go there, or whatever, but you know, to me, it looks fantastic. I really like the paint apps, all this brown on the tire looks really good. If you try to pinch it with your nail, it feels all rubbery too, so it has a little bit of give in there, just a tiny bit. I dig that a lot. Right over here we have his headlight. Some nice rust and dirt colors throughout over there. Looking really good. Handlebars look very nice. It was actually tricky getting the figure uh, holding these handlebars by the way, but I just heated up the hands with a hair dryer and then it just made it super easy. And here's a gas tank. Looking very worn. You can see the details a little bit better if I darken things. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm digging that a lot. And I know that's the motor, right? That's gotta be the engine, right? That's a fusel lodge? I don't know. Nah, I'm just making things up. There's a Ravis Stam and the Flabum over there. That's a good looking Flabum right there. There's your pocket radiator. I'm just gonna keep making stuff up as I go throughout over here, just so I could piss off a lot of people that are educated in the world of motorcycles. So anyway, it looks really good to me, man. It, it look like you could just imagine all this stuff moving. That looks like an exhaust to me. I don't know if that's real, man. That looks so realistic, though. I went so hardcore with this. Really dig it a lot. Uh, and I love that we get these little ports right over here, so you can rest the crossbow right there. I'm assuming he doesn't have the straps hanging off the edge, so you know you can just port this in. And I did see images online. He actually has four of them sticking out, but this works better for the figure, you know. I'm looking at the bow really quick. Might as well, right? Looks very good. You can see the arrows and everything. So I like that. Not too shabby. A little bit of camouflage on there. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. But anyway, going back to the bike. Looking really nice again. You get the chain right there. I guess I could have used silver for the chain or, I don't know, with the grease, make it be black now. I'm not sure. But anyway, we get some very nice bright brass color right over there. Some nice wash over there. Looking really good. Very, very impressive. It's really one of those pieces where you just stare at all the little tiny little silver picked out parts and everything on here. Loving it, man. Very well done, McFarland Toys. As far as functionality goes, I really like how the tires spin. This is very cool. I dig that a lot. Wow, that's really good. Then he has this great kickstand over here. Now with the chopper, uh, they had this little port system where you can put it on a stand and then it'll stay up like that. But I actually prefer having this kickstand method. It just swings out right here on a hinge and then it rotates so you can actually just move this all the way up and then fold this in like that so you don't have to worry about it and it rolls very nicely but it will fall over because there's nothing to keep it from staying upright except for the momentum of the bike. Whee! Oh, that was a good one. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this figure really does look like Norman Reedus, right? Doesn't it? I think they did a great job with this. I love how the facial hair came out. And when you look really closely at it, some of these beard hairs look extremely thick and long. 
but from farther away it looks a little bit better, it fills out a little bit nicer. I think the mustache looks really good, I love how he's looking off to the left. The eyes look like they're painted on there very well, you can see his blue eyes. Does he have blue eyes? I, I don't remember the color of Norman Reedus' eyes. But the flesh tone looks very solid, nice tanned looking Norman Reedus over there. Nice hair color too, they have a little bit of brown mixed in with the black, I'm really digging that. Very good color variation on this, I'm liking it. There's his angel wings right there on the very back of his vest. Looking cool, looking very leathery. Got some nice painted buttons right there. Looking at the shirt that he's wearing underneath here, looks pretty good. Really nice paint variation. I really dig that a lot. Love that when we see layers of paint on these figures, looks really good. And the pants are really nice looking. He has this nice texture right there that you could feel just, you know, moving with your finger. I think that's really good. Nice colors of browns mixed in together. And then he does have his side knife right there, a little sheath that even has paint detail. Just the sheath itself has some nice blue over the black. I dig that. And then this is just a solid silver right there, like a whitish kind of silver. Kind of dull at the end. I don't want people poking themselves with it, I guess. But looking on the side right there, looks really good. You get that little wrap right there at the very bottom. And then you have his exposed knee right there, but you know when you bend the joint, it doesn't really look, yeah. I guess it would have been nice if they had made one flesh-toned ratchet joint in there, so that you could at least see like a flesh-toned knee in the inside of that when you move that. That would have been kind of neat to see. We get some more wraps right there along the bottom of his ankles and everything. His moccasins look pretty good. I don't think these are actual moccasins, but man, I love how we get paint detail on everything here. Looks great, even on the bottom of the feet. I'm looking on the back right over here, not looking too bad. We get this cloth. I can't remember exactly what he used this for, but he's got the butt pockets right there and big old joints sticking out the butt. Now, as far as Daryl's articulation goes, uh, his head doesn't move up as much as I'd like it to. Eh, it just squeaks eh, barely up at all. But I did find myself popping his head off and then kind of halfing it on there and making him look up so it looked just a little bit better while he's on the bike. But I wish we did get a little bit more head movement right there. But popping it on all the way, you can see it just looks down a little bit. Uh, you get side to side movement over here, and you do get some head pivot, so that's not bad. Uh, we get some shoulder joints that move outward that much, they move forward. He does bend at the elbow, and oh, I have this rotated the wrong way. It bends in that much right there, and again, it rotates. He has rotation on the wrists, and they hinge side to side, or you could turn around and it'll hinge up and down. Then he also has this very nice diaphragm joint over here that can turn side to side, and he does crunch forward and just barely moves back a little bit, and he does have some pivot. Uh, he also has a waist joint right down here at the bottom, so you can turn that side to side. And then he also has hip joints that move out very far, so they gave him these great leg joints so that he can sit on the bike properly, and he can kick forward, and he does move back. Uh, there's no upper thigh cut, but we do get a knee swivel, and he bends once at the knee. Then the ankles rotate side to side just a little bit. They move down just a tiny bit, and uh, they don't really move up, and he does does not have ankle pivot. And to measure out this Daryl Dixon figure, you can see that he's standing just a little over five inches tall. Then measuring the bike, you can see that it's at about six and a half inches across. Now getting this figure on the bike is a bit tricky. I find it difficult and I realized after looking online that the bike is a little oversized compared to Norman Reedus. I mean, looking at this image that I found online, it does look like, yeah, Daryl's should be a lot bigger compared to this bike. And for your motorcycle, comparison we have the custom bike compared to Daryl's chopper from also the 5 inch AMC walking deadline and I think this is still just maybe a little bit too big I, I don't know like I said I don't know too much about motorcycles but I thought this was a little bit smaller bike compared to the chopper over here both of them look very good though and then for your Norman Reedus comparison we have the season 6 Daryl Dixon compared to I believe the season 3 or season 4 you can see the vest is very similar except for uh, the buttons over here we have silver buttons on this one and this looks like we have some brass buttons right over there but you can see the angel wings have gotten worn and beat up over the years over here compared to this one right there so I think that's pretty neat then to compare this 5 inch scale Daryl Dixon figure to a 6 inch figure we have the Marvel Legends big time no let down Spider-Man see the funny thing about having ankle pivot is you could do things like this 
Bye, Daryl. Then here's Daryl Dixon holding his crossbow. You gotta show Daryl holding the crossbow, right? By the way, I just want to let some of you guys know that I did submit a video for the Ultimate Walking Dead fan contest over for the Talking Dead show, so you might see my clip on that TV show tonight, or you might not. I have no idea. So I think this bike looks really cool. I really do like it a lot. I do think it's just maybe a tiny bit bigger than it needs to be, but again, I'm not too knowledgeable about motorcycles, so I could be totally wrong about that, but that's just my point of view. From what I remember from the show, and again, looking up images online, line. Uh, now the figure itself, I wish he had double jointed elbows. Makes it a little bit difficult getting him to hold this crossbow. Just takes a little bit of finagling and overall I do think these both look pretty awesome. Anyway, I hope you guys thought this review was awesome. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Stick around for the subscribe circle that should be popping up around Daryl's face over there shortly. And if you want to check out a photo gallery of images, it's all over at toynewseye.com and if you want to buy some figures off of me, you can go ahead and do that over at shardimusprime.net and you can follow me on the Facebook Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to everything I just mentioned in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Now, as far as Daryl's. <clears throat> Oh, bye Daryl. Ah, oh, damn it, bye Daryl. He has the same vest, of course, bye Daryl.